You know, San Diegans uh, all, and all of the people here today, they have friends, they have family, they have co-workers that are all still in the country of Ukraine. And ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen is looking into why some Ukrainians are choosing to leave while others are staying and hiding. Encinitas resident Ina Sosuliak says her sister Sophia and her husband were woken up at 5 a.m. Kiev time Thursday by the sound of sirens, prompting them to get into their car. A huge gridlock in Kiev of people just trying to, you know, leave the city and, and, and go to safety as the sirens were wailing. Artillery was shooting and bombs were dropping. It's like you're praying you're not going to get hit. Emotional, you know, for her and, and, and for me. The couple drove west to a small town in western Ukraine. She drove for over 30 hours to make it to safety. While the two remain together, others have separated. Marissa Friedman is chief strategy officer for a local marketing strategy firm. Four of her freelance web developers and graphic designers are holed up in their office in Kyiv. According to reports, Ukraine has banned men ages 16 to 60 from leaving the country. Very anxious and it's just it's just this waiting game. Friedman says the men's wives and children have made it to Poland. One family taking public transportation. She has a newborn and two toddlers and really just left with a backpack and her children. Anton is a web developer who has worked with Friedman. This is the view from his sixth floor apartment in southern Kiev. He told us over Zoom he's careful to keep the lights off. So there is no attention for uh, to to strike the the houses. Anton is hunkering down with his wife, his seven month old girl and a shotgun. Every few hours, the air raid sirens blare and his family and others in the apartment complex head to a below ground storage area. It's always an adrenaline. It's scary sometimes. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. And Anton says that he hears those rocket blasts all day and all night. He says that he and his family have enough food and water for three weeks.